dun 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 do Hey everybody, it's Natasha and today we'll be discussing the Once is Frozen for a season of Once Upon a Time. Yes. How many of you loved the fr Wait. What a what am I wearing? That's better. Now that I am in something more comfortable to my being, as I am the evil queen, Regina. No, just kidding, guys. I just really like theatrics, okay? I have this costume. It's a Queen of Hearts costume. My friend made it for me a couple years ago. I'll have it linked down below her shop. But, like, come on. Like, my hair and the makeup and the... Oh, oh I feel like Regina. I really like my hair. I think I did a really good job. <laughs> Let's really get into this Once is Frozen season because I loved it. <laughs> Once Upon a Time has just been so good. There was a time in my life where I gave up on Once Upon a Time. That was the end of season two. And I was like, no, I'm kind of bored of this show. And I gave up on it. But then I got back into it once we went back into Neverland. But for me, I am a oncer. I am a true oncer. I've talked about Once Upon a Time on my channel before, but like in little videos. Like, haven't given Once Upon a Time a real full length video before. I want to do these videos like I do for Teen Wolf. Um, it's just these seasons are so long and it's really hard to talk about it, but now we have a 75 day break. I've been watching Once Upon a Time since the beginning of time. Summer 2011, I think it aired 2012, I'm not sure, or did it air 2010? I can't remember. I remember like Axis Hollywood and going to theater to see a movie and like the whole preview would come up. I'm like, yes, I need to watch that show. That is a show that I will be watching and I've stuck to it. Aside from that little time where I didn't stick to it, I've been a hipster fan of this show. Let's just say that. Yes. I didn't marathon it. I was there from the beginning. But this season, this season was so good. I know so many people weren't happy about the Frozen characters being put into the show. I didn't really care, really. The season finale of season three, that, sh that episode, by the way, was like the best episode ever. The two hour, like, Captain Swan movie, basically. At the very end of that season finale, and you see the urn spill, and this just blue black goo forming of Elsa. Oh, chills. I love Frozen, but Once Upon a Time made me love Frozen even picking more. And I think they did a great job. They did an awesome job weaving the Frozen characters into the storyline and bringing Ingrid, their aunt, and I, I just love how this whole season went. And I loved all the Captain Swan stuff. I'm a huge Captain Swan shipper. I love Captain Hook and Emma Swan together. Oh, oh. We'll talk about that later. I just really want to say thank you to the writers, Eddie Kitsis and Adam Horowitz, who just made this season, first part of the season, so good, and the characters, the present characters, were done so right. I love the actress Georgina Haig, Hag, who played Elsa. I think she's drop-dead gorgeous. And the actress, I don't know her name, who played Anna, and the guy who played Kristoff. And then when we got to see Sven, oh, he was so cute as, like, older, and they're all just so adorable, and I just loved it. Even though we didn't get a lot of emphasis on our main core group of characters, we still got a lot of Emma Swan, of course, and some Regina, and then, of course, Rumpel at the end. I like that we kind of took a step back from our main group of characters to focus on some other characters, because that just gives us room to expand on those character storylines, especially with the Ladies of Darkness, or I think that's what they're called, the Ladies of Darkness coming in. The storyline, we're going to get more onto our core group of characters and expand more on their storylines, which I'm super excited to see next, and the next part of the season, which I will talk about at the end. My favorite episode of the season was the second episode, and I also really loved the Shattered Sight episode because it was just hilarious, but the second episode I think was my favorite probably because of all the Captain Swan feels in that one and like how Emma was stuck behind that uh, the ice wall with Elsa and just the camaraderie between Captain Hook and Prince Charming. I kind of like it when there's damsels in distress. I know I just really love that and of course Emma's not a damsel in distress actually ever so it's like the first time we got to see like 
kind of Captain Hook and charming trying to be like the rescuers and trying to get her out of there and also Elsa working along with them and trying to control her powers. I just think it was so great how they kind of tied in Elsa and Emma together because they're like perfect best friends like perfect. They don't really know what's going on with their powers yet. They have amazing family members and there's so much in common with these characters and I just really really enjoyed it. The show is just so family driven and I think that's what I love mostly about Once Upon a Time. Just the relationships between the characters especially when it comes to family like how Emma was an orphan all of her life. She finally has her parents in real life and I just think it's kind of hilarious how it's all tied into everyone's like the same age and it was like oh it's a long story. But now since the Frozen storyline has wrapped up I'm gonna be really sad that they're gone. I mean I know Disney allowed them to have them for this much because I mean people People want to see a Frozen movie so they couldn't really expand too much on the Frozen characters because Disney wants to do that in their own animated film I think I think I think there's plans for Frozen 2 I just really did not want to see the Frozen characters go because I love that Emma has a really true like best friend in Elsa even though we have Regina but Regina's still like kind of not Emma's biggest fan. I'm definitely looking forward to see Emma and Regina work together, especially with Henry on Operation Mongoose. The whole Robin Hood debacle with Marion. I know Marion was underneath that curse that Ingrid put her under. She was like in the third episode and then she was in the last episode of season 4A. I felt really bad for Regina. I felt really bad for her and I wanted her to have her true love and her happy ending. Of course this is what we're going for. We're going for the happy ending with the storybook. They couldn't give us Regina's happy ending, like right now. I feel like her happy ending is going to happen at the end of the show. I really wanted Regina and Robin Hood together and it was just like, oh, be together. Wait, no, no, this is wrong because you have a wife and she's here and she's not dead. She's alive but underneath a curse. But I'm also really happy that Regina stuck to the good side in this season. I remember at Comic-Con everyone was so worried that Regina was going to go back to her evil side and we did get to see that, hence the costume a little bit, but she didn't. She's sticking to the good side and I want to see that. I want to see that continue. I don't want to see her evil again unless it's like flashbacks because that's of course the really fun part with Regina is all of her flashbacks and all of her costumes. Regina's going to get her happy ending. Is it going to be with Robin Hood? Is it going to be with someone else? We don't know. One thing I wanted to talk about, and someone tweeted it to me, I will leave her Twitter handle right here. She wanted to comment on how no one gave Elsa any other clothes but her blue sparkly gown to wear in Storybrooke, and I agree with that. I was thinking all during this, you know, 11, 12 episode arc of the first half of the season, Elsa is just in her blue sparkly dress. I mean, this is, must have been going on for a couple weeks, right? And the only other time we got to see her in another outfit in Storybrooke was when she was wearing that like purple shawl cape thing. Like why did, 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 did she not, did she not want to like dress in regular clothes? Did she just want to like stick in her clothes from Arendelle? Did she go to bed in her dress? Did she clean her dress? Like I mentioned before, I love the show because how family oriented it is and it, we got a lot of that, especially kind of like the creepier side. We were with the Snow Queen, Ingrid. I just really liked how we got some backstory on Anna and Elsa through Once Upon a Time. Like how she had an aunt who had the powers that Elsa has, kind of. The Snow Queen, Ingrid, Elizabeth Mitchell who plays her, who I love Elizabeth Mitchell. I watched Lost and I knew she was going to come onto the season somehow. I wanted her to play like a nice character because I think she's just the cutest actress and she can play such a nice character like Mrs. Claus. I was thinking for Mrs. Claus. But she played Ingrid so well like I love how she just used the soft voice to talk. She's not like this fragile being. She is this cunning conniving person. I get it why she went on that crazy path of like you were gonna be my sisters, my niece and someone who I've never met before in my life. You will be my family. No. This is like the first time we've seen a main character aside from Regina who is sorry for her actions, who sacrificed herself for what she did for the greater good. Like she understood what she did. I love how the story is all about love and she got to experience that love and then she sacrificed herself and I, that made me cry. Oh my gosh, you know how many times Once Upon a Time has made me cry? I cry at like the dumbest things. I'm not a big crier, but when I watch Once Upon a Time it's like the music that goes on and it's like the fun, lovely family things. I'm just like, <laughs> but 
Why is everything so easy in Once Upon a Time? We had the wishing star, which Elsa was holding on to the entire time, and it leads her to the beach. She's dead. She's not here anymore. What happened to Anna? And she's like, I wish, I wish, I wish. No, and we're not going up to uh, into the woods. Anna and then Kristoff just plopped right onto the beach with the bottle, by the way. How did that bottle end up right there? Just, guys, writers, it's too easy. Or like with the ribbons on Elsa and Emma's wrists, they're like, oh, we just need something evil, evil hatred to get the ribbons off our wrists. And so they go down and provoke Regina. She shot the magic at them, they went down. Come on, this is too easy. Can we just have something harder next time? <laughs> My favorite scene of this whole season was the Shattered Sight. When Snow and Charming were in their cells and they were just like going back and forth at each other, which was pretty funny, although it was kind of sad still at the same time. But then Regina enters the room. But my favorite part of that whole episode was when Snow and Regina were fighting. Regina goes, You told my mother! And then Snow is like getting off the ground. I was dead! I was laughing so hard. I don't know, just the way that Jennifer Goodwin delivered that line, it was so, so, so funny. My mom and I watching together, we just laughed. I was 10! And it's like, yes, she was, she was only 10. Now, Regina, get over it. Now, to my last part of my discussion about the season, then we'll move on to what's happening later in the season, but Captain Swan, Killian Jones and Emma Swan, the ship that I have shipped the most in all of TV shows that there are. I don't know if that made sense. I ship those two like no other. Like, I love TV shows for this reason. For the sexual tension reason. Like, you just want these characters together. We got that first kiss on Neverland. We're like, okay, nothing's gonna happen because Emma is super stubborn. Then we have the Captain Swan movie. I'm talking about season three finale. And how Hook gave up the Jolly Roger for Emma. And you're like, yes, this is the start of Captain Swan. I, I just love Killian Jones, Captain Hook. I love Colin O'Donoghue, who plays him. I just love that character so much. He's so charming and so witty. The guy liner, I, mean, I love it all, and his beard, and oh, his manly hairy chest. I love that a lot, which I'm kind of sad because we don't really get to see much of his manly hairy chest anymore because they switched out his costume and he has like a regular like neck collar thing. I can't wait for the next half of the season because I know their relationship is just going to get closer and closer and closer together. A lot of people online really love Captain Swan, but when I talk to my friends in real life, well I have, I guess my friends online are my real life friends, but like my friends who I get to see all the time who aren't really involved in what I do, YouTubing, or aren't like huge on Tumblr, or they don't really tweet, but they just watch the show to enjoy it. They don't like Captain Hook. They just think that Captain Hook has a vendetta. Like, he just is up to no good, which I feel he has proved he is not up to no good. I feel that he is on the right path. I think my favorite Captain Hook moment, I have two. Uh, second episode when, um, oh, maybe I have three. The second episode where he's just, like cuddling Emma and she's, so she's freezing and it was just like we got that like far away shot. I'll pop it right here. I got that far away shot and he's just like cuddling her and I'm just like, oh, this is amazing. They're together and they're cuddling. I think this might be the fourth or the fifth episode. Captain Hook really isn't in this episode and he's like says goodbye to Emma and he kisses her on the cheek. And then my other favorite part was in that same episode, it was when they were watching the tape. And he's like, I want to know a little bit about your past. And I'm just like, oh, oh, it would be an honor to know about your past. I'm just like, I just love it so much. So much. But I'm still looking forward to the next part of the season. I want to see some sexy times going on with Captain Swan. I feel like I want the next, I want like the episode to open up with them like having like the morning after like I want them together in that way yes I do I would like to see that on television in a nice family way since it's eight o'clock on a Sunday please do not kill off Captain Hook please do not please do not separate them um, for a long period of time just don't hurt Captain Hook please I really he's like my favorite character on the whole show aside from Regina and Emma we're gonna do a gateway into the season finale I expected Rumple wasn't going to detach himself from the dagger I was waiting until Belle 
figured out what happened, how she doesn't really have the dagger, and how Rumple is still doing his whole power thing, like he's in love with power. It was really sad to see her banish him from Storybrooke, but it was something that needed to happen, especially for her. Belle took a back seat in this season. I would like to see more of Belle next season, or next half of the season. It's not Still the same season, so confusing. And then of course, the storybook, Operation Mongoose. I remember in at Comic-Con that the Operation Mongoose was going to be an arc that was going to progress all the way until the end of this season. I think it's so interesting that they are bringing in who is the author? I never thought of it, I'm like, who is the author? I just thought, you know, it's like the author, I didn't, I didn't think about the author. I think this is really interesting and cool and how the Queens of Darkness are looking for their happy ending too. So this whole half of the season is going to be about finding the sorcerer and finding the author. I read in an interview that the sorcerer and the author aren't the same person. So the sorcerer, who I keep thinking is Mickey Mouse, I don't know why, I just think it's Mickey Mouse. It's not though. That's the whole arc of the next season, especially with the Queen's of Darkness. And I'm so happy about Cruella de Vil. By the way, Cruella de Vil, her car, up on picture right here. Freaking awesome. Tumblr. Guys, Tumblr. Gotta keep track on Tumblr. They tell you everything. If you want to follow me on Tumblr, it's tashopolis.tumblr.com. <coughs> Corella. Everyone wants to know, how is she magical? How did she get into Enchanted Forest? Well, they're going to be telling you all that in the next part of the season. Also, want to know something else? Corella's coat, the white fur coat, that's her magic thing. Kind of like how the Wicked Witch had that, like, emblem thing. Well... Krilla's coat is magic. We're gonna see Ariel. Ariel's coming back because of course Ursula's there so we have to see Ariel and there's gonna be some other characters back and also another big thing. August is coming back. Remember August? Pinocchio? He turned into a little boy at the end I think of season two? I can't remember. I'm a real boy! It was probably gonna be flashbacks because remember August was in the real world and he probably encountered Maleficent, Krilla, Ursula and remember August put pages into the storybook, so he might know something about the author too. So, interesting, interesting. And that concludes my discussion and review of Once is Frozen. I loved it, I loved it. I would love to hear your thoughts on it and maybe some of the things you loved. Are you shipping Captain Swan hard? Are you shipping them hard? Because I am. What are you looking forward to the next part of the season? Just thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. I know I don't have many oncers on my channel, so if you guys would like to share this on Tumblr or share this with your Once Upon a Time friends or share it on Twitter, it would really help me out and I would love it. All links and sharing links are down below if you would like to support me. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Keep calm and fangirl on. Bye! <sighs> Look at these books. Aren't they neat? How many books? Hey everybody, it's Natasha and today... Oh, I have hair in my face. I look like Regina. Oh, I'm talking so much. I really like my costume, although I can't move my arms up. This is how far they go up. I can't really smile like Regina. How does Regina smile? She goes like... It's like kind of evil. I can't see my smile like that. She goes like... Like all her teeth show.